Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys this polish organizer I got from Amazon. So I'm just gonna show you how it comes packaged and how to put it together. So as you see, it does come disassembled. It also comes with some screws and a mini little screwdriver. So I wanted to do this video since this did not come with instructions and I pretty much had to like look online and look at it to see how it was put together. So I'm gonna be doing that for you guys today. These are the side panels that go to it and these are the plastic parts of it that the polish will go into. All right, so even though this didn't come with instructions, pretty much just by looking at the shapes of the different pieces in here and looking online how it's supposed to be, um, I just pretty much guessed how, you know, you put it together. I went ahead and I held it up together just to see what makes sense before I went ahead with the screws. I'm making sure these little holes line up and once I'm pretty much comfortable with how it will go, I also went ahead and put it down and just kind of compared this next piece to that above it, just to make sure that everything's gonna line up. I also wanted to make sure those plastic pieces were the same size. So now that I think everything is good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and get the screws out and start screwing them in. So one thing about these screws, is you wanna put it through both of these holes, but then also when you're putting that washer on, you're gonna have to hold the washer in place while you are screwing in that screw. So um, I did try to like show you guys while I was doing it. It was kind of hard to get that angle, but as you see, I am holding that washer in place right here. And then I'm gonna screw the screw in as the washer is being held in place. It was very awkward just because I'm trying to get the shot for you guys at the same time. But if I was just doing this without recording, this would be super easy. And I did go ahead and screw it in, but I didn't screw it in too tight because I wanna make sure I get all the screws in the different places they go before I commit to how tight I want this to be. That is one tip I will give you guys. Um, if you're putting something together, you always want to hold off on tightening all the screws just in case you mess up somewhere or, you know, something's not working out like you planned. You want to make sure you don't completely tighten them all the way yet. So here you guys go. I'm going to show you guys another angle of me putting in the screw. I'm going to put the washer on there. I'm going to hold the washer in place and then I'm gonna go ahead and screw the screw in. And you guys, it is that easy to put this thing together. You're just gonna do that and then you're gonna use the little cute little screw they gave you and then screw it in. So you guys, I will definitely leave the link to this down below for you if you're interested and you need some more polish storage container. Um, this one worked out really great and I will show you guys more detail at the end about how much polish it holds and all that good stuff. So as you guys see, I'm just repeating that process, just, you know, lining those holes up to the side walls of this little organizer. Then I'm just putting that screw in, putting that washer in and tightening it up. So when I first got this, I will admit, I was like, oh, wow, why did they send it? First of all, dis disassemble, but it makes sense, you know, for shipping. But then for it not to have any instructions, that was definitely, that took away a point for me because everything that comes disassembled, I feel should have instructions. Even though it was super easy to put together, it's always nice to have those instructions. So I hope this video helps someone who gets the same little um, organizer. And I just hope for it to be like a little tutorial slash user manual for them, just so you know they don't have to think too much about putting it together. And like for me, I kind of held off on putting it together because I felt like it was just gonna be so time consuming. But honestly, once you get started, it's all good it's very easy and you're good to go and it was a little bit harder too for me because i was wearing these black gloves you guys will see i do take the gloves off and it makes it so much easier through the rest of the process all right so while i'm continuing to put that together you guys if you're new here please hit that sub button for me if you're finding this video helpful also remember to hit that like. I know we get into videos sometimes and we just kind of forget that like button as we move on to the next one. But if you take this time and hit that like button for me, I would really appreciate that. 
okay so let's finish up this video you guys so i have it all together here as you can see now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start putting my polish into here now as you guys see i started with putting my larger nail reserve polish bottles into it but that was at the front of it so i went ahead um, and i put smaller bottles up at the front and then the larger bottles towards the back now when i read the description on amazon it said this organizer can hold up to 72 bottles now that is dependent upon the bottle size so my nail reserve bottles are really big they're not your average size so your average size of polish bottles are 7.5 to 8 ml milliliters <laughs> um and those are the ones that will fit in here and will fill this up to 72 pieces if you're using different ones like i've used here you're obviously going to have less room but it is true what they say on the website um it does hold 72 pieces but it does depend on the size of those bottles so you guys i hope this review was helpful to someone if it was remember leave this video a like and if you're new here subscribe i will see you guys next time